Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Bex Hybrids, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are continuing our tour around the Midwest talking with growers trying to grow high yielding corn in 2015. With me today is Joe Maythaler from Marion, Iowa. Joe is enrolled in Bex Hybrids 300 Bushel Challenge. Joe, it's been about a month since we've been out here in the field. This is our second visit to your 300 Bushel uh, Corn Challenge plot. How are how has conditions been since the last time we've been here? We've had a lot of rain. Uh, I think we've had uh, probably 14 inches of rain since the first of May, uh, 16 since the first of April, and seven and a half so far in June. Uh, we're, when we've not had very many hot, warm, sunshiny days, uh, we've had I think one day of 90 degrees, mm. and the rest of it's been maybe in the low 80s or mid 80s and cloudy like today. Have you had any days at all, good working days in the field to get in to do any spraying or side dressing? We side dressed, it was real nice when we side dressed and it was good shape when we sprayed. Mm -hmm. But then it's been, I'm glad we did it when we did because it's been wet every since. Now, what are some of the ramifications you're seeing out here in the field from getting too much water? Any, um, what's the corn looking like? Is it struggling at all? There's, there's spots that are struggling. There's spots that probably between tile lines that's a little yellow mm -hmm. and a little little unevenness from just playing too much water. Okay, and you've got one of those plants yes. here that is showing some of the symptoms of having some nitrogen deficiency? Yes, it's just, uh, it's probably between the tile lines or where it's not tiled quite as good and it's just, it's just playing too wet. Okay, we're out here in the field where We've got some nitrogen deficiency. We didn't know how much nitrogen we've lost, so we pulled some nitrate samples out here in the field. We ran them up through our uh, nitrate testing device, and we found very little. The test came up actually uh, about one part per million um, is, is a test reading. So we know we don't have much uh, nitrogen available for this corn plant, and you're seeing the nitrogen deficiency in the plant. Short plant, uh, seeing the yellowing of the lower leaves. So nitrate test did very well for us, showed us we didn't have any nitrogen, and we're gonna have to replace it. Has your plan changed at all? I mean, we're seeing plants like this. What are you going to do in regard to nitrogen management to maybe help correct some of this? Well, they're going to wide drop, and I think they're going to use the, the optics on the machine to mm -hmm. so that they can variable rate the nitrogen and uh, put more on where we needed it, and maybe a little less where the corn is really good shape. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Variable rate nitrogen on the fly with the optic sensors being able to locate areas in the field of corn that looks like this, where we know we've lost some nitrogen and we need to replace some of that. We've done optics testing and Beck's Practical Farm Research testing uh, for two years now and we've seen some pretty good results. Those sensors can do a good job of finding this nitrogen deficiency and replacing some of that nitrogen that we've lost. Now Joe, since the last time we were here, what specific agronomic practices have you done out here in the 300 uh, bushel uh, plot that you have? Are there any specific products that you put on this corn? We waited till it warmed up and we were at about V4, just before V5, to put Halix on mm -hmm. at, at, for our post-emerge. And then we were about a week later, not quite a week later, and we, at V6, and we come back and, and put Preaxor and Generate on. Okay, excellent. So a little bit of fungicide protection and then, and then some micronutrients as well. Right. Be sure to check back in with us in September when we come back here to Marion, Iowa, to Joe's 300 bushel challenge, see what crop conditions are like, and see if we can reach that 300 bushel yield goal. Until then, this has been Jason Webster following this farmer's personal journey to 300 bushel farm.